I think it's time we created a cult. Welcome back, fellow citizens of JAR, Darren for Super President. This is the show in which we try to build our own country, take over the entire universe, and fix all of the universe's problems. If that sounds like something you think you might like, please hit the subscribe button down below to be counted as a citizen and to join us on our path to glory. Sip. That was a bigger sip. I thought my mustache is all wet now. So there comes a time in every single youngling's life in which they decide it's time to create a cult. I know what you're thinking. Should I have done this in fourth grade? Am I behind? Is this a grade that I haven't gotten yet? We're gonna go through this together. Now, the first thing about cults is trying to figure out exactly what a cult is. Well, the term cult usually refers to, Wikipedia source here, a social group defined by its religious, spiritual, or philosophical beliefs, or its common interest in a particular personality, object, or goal, like taking over the universe. The term itself is controversial and has been divergent definitions in both popular culture and academia. So you want to make a cult. So the issue is, is that if you just make one, you're going to be unfocused. It's like making a club at school. You can't just make the club club. You got to have a purpose. So then I looked up, because you can Google anything nowadays, uh, types of cults. <laughs> what up? My search history is probably being monitored by a government institution at this point. So the different categories of cults that we have to choose from. We have Eastern cults, which are like, you based on like enlightenment and reincarnation, which are these. Uh, religious cults, you would think that yeah, Eastern cults based on reincarnation philosophy would be a subset of religious cults, but Jar is okay with all kinds of religions, so we're just gonna skip on past that. Political, racist, or terrorist cults. No, thank you. Psychotherapy, human potential, mass transformational cults. Ah, this is like the TV self-help personality. If you drink this cup every day, you'll get ten times more. Better. Occultic, satanic, or black magic cults. You know, I never have played Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think if I change and I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe we'll come back and we'll circle around on that. Cult of personality are rooted in a belief that reflects the charismatic personality and interests and proclivities of the revered leader. Such groups revolve around a particular theme or interest, such as martial arts, opera, dance, theater. Can you imagine a martial arts cult? Hi, I'm Kyle. You've attended week three of Kicks Cult, in which we kick a lot. But we don't follow that other cult of punches. That's a rival dojo. <laughs> Although if anyone makes an opera, dance, or theater cult, just let me know. I'm just curious. I might show up to one of those group meetings, bake some cookies. Not good cookies. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go to Subway and buy those cookies, but I'll show up and say I baked them. Okay, so we've narrowed it down. It's definitely a cult of personality, because have you seen this face? Have you looked at it? Have you seen it? I've got like two eyes and a nose and a mouth and one face that is visible to the public. I could have others, but that's not the point. The one that you can see is great. <laughs> a cult of personality arises when a regime, I wouldn't call this a regime, okay, so just chill on the propaganda, uses mass media, propaganda, or other methods, such as government organized demonstrations, to create idealized, heroic, and at times worshipful image of a leader worships a bit strong often through unquestioning flattery and praise well that's totally me so I guess the real question is how do you make a cult personality how to make people like you too much Sweet. So there's several varieties of what the internet tells me on how to make people like you. So starting with good old Dale Carnegie's how to win friends and influence people. Talking about the fundamental techniques in handling people. First of which is don't criticize, condemn, or complaining. That's stupid. Give honest and sincere appreciation. I do appreciate that. Arousing the other person an eager want. Ew. Gross. Okay, Del Carnegie's being put in the back room, and we're not going to talk to him anymore. So I found a different list. You can start making people like you by maintaining eye contact. And smiling. Be genuinely interested in other people. I have a stupid idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go back through every video I've ever done. And even if, even if, and if you're coming to this video now, you'll be like, why did he do this? Well, here's your explanation. I'm gonna go answer in comment form 
every comment I've ever gotten. I actually had this idea a little while ago too, mainly because I realized that if anyone comments on a video of mine and they don't watch the exact video and part of a video where I respond to them, they never know that I responded to them. So yeah, it's gonna double down on some answers. Maybe it'll give me the ability to practice being witty twice. <laughs> so heads up everybody, you're about to get a lot of notifications based on how often you comment on some of my older videos, stylish buffalo. Oh, and happy birthday to Cosmic. I'll say happy birthday again on Monday. I just noticed that it is today and I think I'm uploading today. So if you see it today, happy birthday. <laughs> so this has been your super presidential candidate, Darren, signing off for Friday and this week saying, welcome to JAR. JAR takes all kinds and you are part of the old family now. Please join us this week and every week. We go up every single Monday and Friday. And I will leave you as always with our viewer submitted model for JAR, which is we are JAR. If you love JAR, you love us. See you on Monday.